Nolagent here at Brew House. Yeah. Welcome to Nolagent. Let the good times roll. The Brew House is Chattanooga's only German bar and restaurant that I know of. If you know about any others, please comment below. The Brew House is located at 224 Fraser Avenue in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and that's right next to Coolidge Park and the Walnut Street Pedestrian Bridge that crosses the Tennessee River. Speaking of the Pedestrian Bridge, we're going to cross that right now. This footage was shot earlier when there was a rainstorm going on in Chattanooga. So I actually got pretty soaked through as the wind was blowing the rain so hard. So we are going to cross the Tennessee River here and there's some beautiful views here. I just suggest not crossing it in the middle of a rainstorm as the wind really whipped up that rain and it penetrated through my waterproof shoes and through my water resistant jacket. So you need a full rain proof all the way suit to cross through this without getting soaked. And it was a little on the cool side. So if you're averse to cold, make sure you come prepared for the rain here. But it's a beautiful, beautiful tour to see the river there. And that is it, going through our GoPro 7 time warp, and we're gonna head back to the brew house now. And let's go ahead and head on inside and check this place out. They have a patio to the left there, which in hindsight, it looks like it has better lighting than where I ended up on the place that we're gonna be seated here shortly. So as we walk inside to this enclosure here, you see they have a really great outside area here. Uh, you just don't get as good of a view as you do where we're about to go through here now as we enter on inside. So this is the COVID-19 time, so I would like to return to this place when all of the inside bar is open. This is my first visit to this establishment, so I'm not quite sure what to expect out of it. Um, it does look like they have a smaller space inside here and a lot more outdoor seating. Now we're going to head on to the back where they have another patio that's going to be facing towards the river. So this is on the opposite side of their main downtown. And you see they have a nice little menu there of different items and specials they have during normal times. So since it's COVID-19 times, I'm not sure what exactly all they have going on other than they are closing much earlier than normally. So as I head out to the patio, it does look like a pretty cool area out here. And there is a really nice view right here. You're getting a great view of the park and the pedestrian bridge and the mountains in the background there. So this is a really fantastic, definitely wonderful place to sit. So if you want a view, this is the spot to be in this restaurant. Now later you'll see that these pink lights cause me some trouble as it gets darker. So uh, get ready for some interesting colors and in my camera work here. So as the sun began to set, some more fantastic colors came out. Seeing sunset here was quite fantastic. But let's go ahead and check out the menu here. So they have quite an extensive selection of beers under their bottles and cans with a selection of German beers, local craft beers, and craft beers from all over the place along with some other national brands that most people would be familiar with. They have six draft beers with $5 pints and $10 quarts, with the quarts being similar to the liter beers that I'm used to. Then they have a selection of cocktails with mimosas, Bloody Mary, Gin Lavender Lemonade, Spicy Pineapple Margarita, Dark and Stormy, Deep Betty Grapefruit Soda, Bourbon Peach Tea, and then Wine by the Glass with a House Red, a House White, and a White Cliff Brute. And of course, I'm gonna go with a quart of the Varsteiner Pilsner. And in case you haven't guessed it by now, I'm actually here to celebrate Oktoberfest. Although I don't see any sign at all that Oktoberfest is being celebrated here in any way, but I'm gonna keep up my Oktoberfest celebrations regardless. Chattanooga does have a nice Oktoberfest celebration, but it's been canceled this year due to the COVID-19 situation. So I also need to get some food and let's check out the food menu. So for starters, they have Bavarian pretzels with mustard. So they have a 
cider mustard, a horseradish mustard, and a cherry ale mustard. And they have honey baked deviled eggs, Bavarian house nachos, then they have a variety of salads, and then the selection of sandwiches with a grilled pimento cheese sandwich, pecan chicken salad sandwich, and a King Ludwig. And then their side cars, or what they call their side items, with home fries, potato salad, spatzel, vinegar slaw, cabbage, kraut, veggies, and potato cakes. And then they have their sausage selection, and you get toppings to choose from to go with your sausages. And then we have entrees, and you get a selection of two choices of side items with each entree. They have wiener schnitzel, a fraction spatzel, veggie spatzel, Ruhaha, which is a grilled brat. Then they have sweets, a cinnamon sugar pretzel, and then they have soft drinks. I'm going to try the pretzel because I do love some mustard, so I'm gonna start out with that and see how that goes. And when the pretzel arrived, it was huge. So I'm not eating anything else because this is a huge pretzel and I'll be lucky if I can finish all of this off tonight. Roast. So my camera seemed to keep taking decent pictures, but just watch as my camera slowly turns me into a pinkish, purplish, strange alien being as the night gets darker. Because in video, the colors did not want to cooperate and filter out this neon pink light above me. Ouch, this thing is really hot. It's burning hot. <laughs> A little horseradish mustard. The next variety. That was the cider mustard. It's the cherry. Double dip that one. Just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button too and I'd really appreciate it. Piping hot.
go ahead and touch that subscribe button and press that thumbs up. And I finally have gotten down to the last piece of the pretzel. <laughs> this has been a huge meal. It's already last call and I'm only now finally down to my last bite of this pretzel. I would have liked to have drank more beers, but last calls at nine. This place closes really early these days, unfortunately. So the only other thing I'm really disappointed in, other than the early closing time, is they didn't give me enough mustard because this mustard was fantastic and so was that pretzel. So the bill arrived and I had one of the quart beers and I was so full from my pretzel I could only manage one more pint of beer. And then for the Bavarian pretzel, the total was $24.82 with tax before tip. So thank you Brew House for the great time and I look forward to returning here in normal times. And thank you Chattanooga for the beautiful scenery and that wonderful pedestrian bridge. And to all of my viewers out there, happy Oktoberfest to you as we continue with good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.